So in this video we're going to continue to solve the material balance for a steam reformer. Now in the problem statement it says to assume that the two reactions have come to equilibrium. So we now need to think about equilibrium constants and how to use those to our advantage to complete this problem. So we have K reform for the equilibrium in the reforming reaction and that equals the partial pressure of CO divided by the standard pressure times by the partial pressure of H2 divided by the standard pressure and we have to cube that due to the stoichiometry of that reaction and then that's all divided by the partial pressure of CH4 divided by the standard pressure times by the partial pressure of H2O divided by standard pressure. Okay, so that's one of the uh, equations for the equilibrium constant that we've got. Then we also have a second equilibrium, the shift reaction, and we have K shift equals partial pressure of CO2 divided by the standard pressure, and then the partial pressure of H2 divided by the standard pressure there, and that's all divided by partial pressure of CO, you guessed it, divided by the standard pressure there, times by partial pressure of H2O, divided by the standard pressure. So now we've got these equations, we actually need to relate this to what we've got in our material balance. Now we did work out the mole fraction, and if we've got mole fraction we can work out partial pressure so using Dalton's law the partial pressure of a component equals the mole fraction of that component in the gas phase multiplied by the total pressure now Dalton's law assumes uh, ideal gas behavior and the question said to just make that assumption so um, P total we know from the question t uh, problem statement is 15 bar so we can work out for each component in the system we can work out the partial pressure now we also need to have a value for k-shift and a k-reform and we can get that from some correlations that I'm going to give you right now so k-reform these are also given in the problem statement k-reform equals exponential of 24.383 minus 15405 divided by T and T is the temperature in degrees C. K shift equals exponential of 2299 divided by T minus 2.79 now for T equals 850 degrees C you should get K reform to equal 522.94 and you should get K shift to equal 0.9182 so now we're at the point where we've got two unknowns we've got x and y as our unknowns and we've got two equations that can be solved up here so all these two equations are basically in the in dependent on, on x and y so we need to solve for x and y in order to get a value of k reform and k shift that equals these two values so in the next video i'm going to use excel to set up this problem and show you how it can be solved using Excel.